Hey everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So today we are going to be drawing King Kong, or just Kong as he's called these days, versus Mecha Godzilla, right? So it's the part where he decapitates Mecha Godzilla and holds his head up and sort of screams and stuff like that, right? So I am on a landscape orientation page. Use a pencil and an eraser for these, especially like, you know, characters like these are very difficult. So erasing with a pencil your mistakes and stuff instead of doing marker. So I definitely recommend using a pencil. I'm always doing these on A2 paper. I do them real big just for the camera. You could do A3, A4. They're the same proportions, okay? So let's go. We're gonna start with Kong over here, right? And we're gonna start with his brow. So like his big frowning sort of face, right? So I'm just gonna zoom in here on my picture. Right, so. Okay, so center point of my page is about here. We just come up, over, and we're over in the right-hand corner, just up here near the top, right? That's where we're going to start. So this frowning sort of head, right? So like big sort of curving lines here, right? So this is like the middle of his brow, and then we go across and down the side of his head, right? Down to here. And then we do the same thing over here. I think, you know, this can be like a wrinkly, bumpy line as well, if you want. It doesn't have to be perfectly smooth or straight or anything. But if you like more smooth style, you can make it smooth. Like that, right? And maybe like there's some skin bumps coming across the center here. Right, so then this brow comes over his eyes and joins this sort of section down here. So he's got like, his head is like tilted way back. So this part of his face is like really small, right? So we'll just go, yeah, we'll go this way and we'll just curve it over. So we'll go around, just wrinkly sort of lines. You know, you're adding sort of these wrinkles on his brow every now and then just to add some texture, this kind of thing. Down this way, and then eventually we'll join this sort of section. But again, we've lots of wrinkles and stuff coming down his face, right? So lots of these sorts of texture lines. Like this, right? So this is the general shape for his for his eyebrows. Kind of look like big sausages. <laughs> and uh, then we do the same thing on the other side. So this one comes around. Comes around his eye. Down this way. And again, like wrinkles and like extra sorts of lines. Coming up around. texture lines and things. So this kind of thing, you want them to roughly be sort of nearly even, but that's the general idea, right? So then we, get, we can barely see his eyes, right? Because his cheeks, his mouth is open real wide, right? So we have, his eyes are like in here, and then his nose is in the middle, right? So we'll do we'll do the nose, and then inside the holes for his eyes, we'll draw the irises and stuff then. So the nose, right here in the middle, okay, we've got this sort of love heart-like sort of shape to his nose, sort of comes down this way, right? All right, so big sort of wrinkly sort of lines then that come down towards his mouth. And his nostrils then are in here. So just these sort of black long holes and you, you shade them in then. Make this one a bit longer actually. So, and then this will have just some sort of bumps and stuff coming down here. And again, you can add like texture lines, wrinkles and stuff. 
lots of it there. Then, so coming up the middle of his brow, so we'll have like wrinkle lines for his nose here. It's all wrinkly and stuff coming up the center, just there. And then the lines for the tops of his cheeks will come across here. So they come and run right across and join the end of his brow there coming from the nose. So we're gonna like bring it across. And again, wrinkly skin lines like so. And then in here is where we'll have his eyes, right? So, so because his head is like tilted back, okay? His head is tilted back. So that means like the eyes are like looking down this way. So we can only see like a sort of a half moon sort of shaped eye. So what I mean is like you do a curve line here. And then the pupil in here. So it's like he's looking sort of down at the camera. You know, if the camera's down here. So, because his head is like tilted back. And you do pretty much the same thing on the other side. And it doesn't have to be exactly the same on both sides. So you're just going for that general sort of shape. And then the eye. Again. This sort of pupil dark in there. So then we'll just add some eyelid lines and things around. So there'll be like an eyelid line here somewhere. Like the white of his eye and stuff like that. You can barely see it, but we'll draw it in anyway, just in here. And then some like extra wrinkles and things coming around his eye here. And so we can thicken these lines up just to show it's sort of shadow. Maybe just a shadow just underneath his brow. It's really dark in the picture I'm drawn from, so. Right, like that. And then we can see like a little bit of his hair, like the top of his head sort of sticking up here, just like, like a little mountain on top of his brow. Just there, right? So then we get in sort of the shape for his face and his mouth and stuff like that. So let's see. So right, his mouth is just like right here in the middle and then his jaws come around, right? And he's got like big beard and hairy jaw and stuff like that. So we'll get the mouth in and then we'll draw the jaw around it. So, so we'll do kind of this sort of U shape, right? Comes around, well, N shape really. It's like a curved sort of horseshoe sort of shape. All right, so just a curved line here. And then this, we'll sort of go down a bit further. Right, all the way down. Like so, and it's, it can be sort of a wrinkly sort of line if you want it to be. Comes down around here, down around the bottom. And then we go back up. That's one, there's another line on this side. So I'll just add another line there. And there should be another, it's like his gums or something on the inside, it goes in this way. It's kind of like a double line here. All right, so then we have all these teeth and stuff, all these details inside, right? So let's go, we'll add the big fangs here on this side first. So we'll go big fang here. There, and if you want, you can add some like texture coming down that tooth, you know, stuff like this. And then another one here. Texture 
texture coming down it. And then he's got four teeth across the middle. So you just do like two in the center, bumps there, and then another two outside. Like so. so the two in the middle are bigger. And then this comes across, line down across, like so. Smaller ones, like that. And then you may have like some bumps for like gum lines and stuff just coming along the top there. And some gum lines at the back. Like so. And then our back teeth will like bump down and around. And then these bump up there. And these have all sorts of lines just that and then down this side there and then we'll go down here and do the front teeth so we have fangs on this as well so spiky sort of they're not as big as the top ones but they're they still are pretty big just a little bit smaller there and then we have teeth four teeth again sort of coming along here and these are sort of smaller sort of they look like sort of cups or something coming across like so and then this one here And so his gum line, we can see like a little bit of the gum line sort of back here. And then more teeth coming up the back here, like his, his white parts of his teeth. Like so we'll go down to there. And then these have all lines that come across. So, and then we do something similar on this side. Like so. And so then his tongue. So big tongue in here coming across. And then the bottom of it, you can see here. Like so, and I think there's like a curved line here. Like so. And it's all dark black shadow underneath the tongue. some gum lines here and we can see like right down the back of his throat but we'll just add some like gum lines and maybe like the whole first throat back here and I'll just color this in Right, so that is basically his mouth. And of course, if you want, you can add like more detail, you know, to this if you feel inclined. You know, he's got like lots of lines and bumps and stuff inside there, but I won't do 
too much of that. Lots of skin lines and things inside. So then his bottom lip, just here, underneath. And then this will have like wrinkle lines and texture lines and things all on it. And we'll have some of them on the top lip as well. Lots of these wrinkly bits. Like so. All right, so he has a section of skin around here and then it comes becomes hair, right? So, sorry, that was my knuckle. I'm in the habit of cracking my knuckles. Gotta stop. So the hair portions and his mouth portions, right? So we got like some lines that come around, right? For his jaw and his cheek, right? And this is kind of like, can be a hairy line now because it meets hair here and the hair will come up around and go pretty close to his eye up here. And this will have all wrinkle lines and stuff on it as well. Right? So this is like, it turns into a sort of hairy line there. You do the same thing on the other side. Right, like so, and this can have like lots of texture and wrinkle and as much as you'd like really, like so, to there, and we just keep adding that sort of beard sort of area, and again it comes up around to his face up here. Goes right around his cheek, comes up to his eyes nearly. And this can have like loads of wrinkles and stuff there. So then his, can we see his ears? No, not really. So this then is his cheek, right? So his big cheek comes down, right? And his mouth is open like super wide and he's like shaking and roaring and everything so it's it's real big his chin is like all the way down here he's got like a big long beard sort of so you're just adding these sorts of spikes do this anyway it doesn't have to be exactly like my way like so and then he has sort of a his beard sort of area in here that comes up to his chin just underneath and then some more sort of lines for you know sort of his stretched mouth right so it's like because his, his jaw is pulling you know, his skin, you'll have these sorts of areas like this, just done with hatching. You don't have to draw, you can draw like straight lines if you want, but because it's hairy, hatching is kind of the best way to do it, in my opinion. Some people may disagree, but. Right, so generally you're just looking for these sorts of stretch lines Kind of like that, right? I think we can see like the top of his ear here, but I'm not sure. Maybe like a little bit. You don't have to add this. I can just see it. and I, Because I can see it, I can't not draw it. So, because I've got a problem, <laughs> right? Can't see the ear on that side. So that's kind of annoying. Maybe I should add it anyway. Yeah. Okay, so what we can see of chest muscle, not much, just comes down here, collarbone again, not much, just a little bit of his chest here, and it joins like his shoulder, which will go down this way. So this is like chest muscle, and he's all shoulder over this side, so our boy Kong is nothing but muscle, so, you know, and you can just add again some sort of horizontal hatching lines just coming out this way just to show there's some hair there chest muscle lines that way and what we can see of his other chest it got, he got it 
goes into Mecha Godzilla's face, but I'll add it anyway, right? And then we can kind of lines up. So is that like his arm? Right. So I'm just trying to like because his Mecha Godzilla's head is here, so. I think this is collarbone and it just goes up to like there somewhere. And that's chest muscle. And then you can't really see much else. Maybe like goes into like Mecha Godzilla's. So you should see like the side of his body, but you can't see it in the picture, but I'm gonna add it, right? So it's like the side of his chest. Mecha Godzilla's head is here, so it doesn't go the whole way. So I'm just gonna draw it in. Right, and is that his nipple? Can we see his nipple? Right, so these are like chest muscle lines. And then furry sort of shoulder line will come down here. Right, but anyway, we can fill that in sort of after. We'll like do Mecha Godzilla and then we can join the sort of shoulder area. You can't see much, but we'll attempt to do Mechagodzilla now. So Mechagodzilla is pretty complicated, right? There's a lot of detail in this, but I'll try and simplify it as best I can. So just across here, Mechagodzilla's head is like here. It's kind of tilted, right? So to get that sort of tilt, we'll start with up here, just with the middle of his nose, with that box, right? That's in the middle of his nose. I think it's the easiest place to start. Like that, okay? And it's like there's another sort of line around it. I mean, if you want, you can put bolts and things, but yeah. Okay, so that's the sort of angle we're at, right? So, let's see, right, so then we have like another plate around it, right? So we'll go out around again. It seems to be a bit curved. And then two prongs come down the side. Like that. And then this will go in and up, in and up. And then we go down, down, and then we go across, across, and then back into here, right? There's all sorts of details and stuff on this. So like extra sorts of rectangles like this, right? Sort of different areas. And you can add as much of this as you want. So this is like extra sort of mecha sort of details, right? So it's not super important that you draw all of this, you know, but you can if you want, of course. You just dividing up the sections. You know, sometimes you can make these things diagonal in there, trying to make it look a little bit 3D maybe. And this comes across. Another line here, another line there, there, and you know, um, typical sorts of monster sorts of mecha bolts and stuff holding it together. Right. So. So then I guess his eyes, right? So we'll go, so his eyes are like either side of his nose, right? So let's see. So coming out from the nose, we'll go out from here, right? So we'll do this curved line down, right? So this is like his snout, you know, going up into, into here. Okay, and this has like some boxes on the end. You know, like, like there, going into his snout. 
and the same on this side pretty much so it goes down like that there might be a box or something on the end right so his eyes are in here we have like lots of extra stuff so let's see so we'll go out down here for another sort of metal plate and then this will go around and we'll bring it up in right into there okay and there's all details inside here as well So the actual eyeball, right? So we've got like a circle here. Right? And then another circle inside. There. And then a circle around. So it comes out from the side here. Down to there. So this is where the red dot is. So the red dot is like inside there. Okay? And then we have some extra lines coming around the detail lines here right and like some like poles and details there coming down like so and then some more lines coming around this way lots of angles and things right so you're like trying to just make it look as motorized as you can Yeah, so this kind of thing. And you just keep breaking up the space inside as best you can. Right, and so this is like his eyebrow then on top, right? So that comes down. Kind of like Kong's brow there comes down like so and this seems to have like an edge line or something here then and this will have some like dots on it some bolts and things inside as well like that you know and adding sort of extra edge lines and things can make can make him look a little bit more robotic Right, so we'll go over and do this over here, more or less. We'll try our best. So, so start again. So we got the bottom frown, and then we'll do, we'll just sort of try and copy this, right? So we'll go diagonal up again, bring it across, down, down to here, down around, into there. Doesn't have to be exactly like it, of course. Right, and then this will have like extra lines inside. Edge lines and, and things sort of breaking it up. Do, 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 line there. And then it's sort of cheek line. It comes up this way again. Diagonal. All the way up into there. All right, so then in here we can see his eyeball again. So you do this sort of circle, sort of red, the red circle for his eye. Just in here somewhere. Another one there. Doesn't have to be exactly the same on both sides. Just somewhere inside. And then the round part of his eye just here. And 
and then we'll break up this space inside again with more sorts of lines inside here. Like so, some more sort of eyelid lines and things. And then we just sort of keep adding bolts and different gnarly sort of lines, just trying to break it up. Right, roughly like this, right? So then he has um, some lines across his brow as well, right? So we've got like these rectangles sticking up here. Cross line this way. Then we go across here. And I think this kind of joins in, yeah, it joins into his brow over this way. So we go there, diagonal that way. There, diagonal that way. And another sort of line going this way. And then there's some, again, some rectangles on this. And then some more coming down here. Like that. Okay, so then we have another metal plate coming around his jaw. So it seems to we'll go down sort of this way, right? Here and in. And then we will bring it up into here. And then it goes up into there. And then this has sort of an edge Draw a line to it here. Down across this way. And some more sort of bolts coming down here. So this is like, it's way more complicated than this in the picture, but um, you would be all day sort of drawing that stuff. And then we'll do something similar coming down this side. here and we'll add an edge line to it we'll bring it across here as well bolts like that So then we have what look like teeth, right? So there are these sorts of rectangles here that sort of come down from the side of the face. Like another one, say here. There's only like two or three. So like say these sorts of boxes, right? Just here. There's not that many of them. Say like
Right, made a little mistake there. I'm just going to raise that line. Right, and then let me like should be a corner line on that and a corner line here. Right, and then we'll just do a few more. So, and then the bottom of his jaw then will come down around and curve up and join this piece of his face here. And then similar down here, comes down around up. And we'll join this piece of his face somewhere in there. Then we seem to have like a speaker or something in here. Some sort of circular object anyway. And some more lines coming around that. And then another edge line to this. And the speaker seems to have some lines, circular lines coming around us here. Let me add some more sort of edge lines and detail lines and things inside. I think this has maybe a bottom to it, another curved line coming out here. So Mecha Godzilla, as you can tell, is not easy. But we soldier on and don't give up. Keep going. Go down in more lines, as many sort of these edge lines as you want, really. And we'll try and do something like that over here. So, again, we have another speaker somewhere in his cheek, just here. Another bolt and maybe like some curve lines coming on it. This sort of cheek line comes down. Into there. And then it has some more lines like that that break it up. So I'm just, I'm kind of making this up to be honest. I'm just sort of, I don't I normally like making things up, but in order to you know just be expedient you need to sort of think on the fly bolt lines and things like that right so his mouth then is made up of like various gears and tubes and things right so there's tubes that come down diagonally this way okay so we'll do those we'll do those first so we've got like diagonal going down here and then these have plates on top of them and then we go down further like that and these go into his jaw sort of down there And then we have another one on this side. Comes across. And this has, again, bolts. Like that. Right, and then there's one of those over here. So we go down. Down. There. Lines across. And some lines here. 
This one's kind of obscured by his jaw on this side, for whatever reason. So his jaw, I suppose his jaw has just been ripped off. So his jaw is here, so that's probably why. So his jaw comes down there, and then this pipe comes down this way. Okay, so I guess I'll finish the main structure for his jaw, and then we'll go in here and do his tongue and all that kind of stuff, right? So jawline appears to come down here, I think. Well, now there's two lines, one there, one here. So it comes down to there, it steps in, and then it will step down and in again, and down to here. Right, so this is like a double line, so this comes down. For more jaw, steps in, down to there, and then comes like vertical down there. And we have more lines here, up to there. Like so. And then he's got like more lines and bumps and things inside here. And then the inside of his jaw comes down. Like so, and to, to make him look all robotic and like there's extra sort of lines and things, you just add some extra bolts and things and some ed edge lines and things like that. Like so. And then I think there's like a speaker here again. It's obviously where his roar comes from. The detail in this character in the movie is incredible. They really went all out. Looking at the picture here, there's like every little bump and detail is shown, you know. It's pretty crazy. And then, so this pipe goes into a part of his mouth here. And then this kind of bumps around and his tongue is in here. So we can't, so we'll just bring this down. Or is that his teeth? Does he have bottom teeth? Maybe he does. So maybe this is bottom teeth. Kind of like the top teeth. They're just sort of these rectangles. Like that kind of thing. There's not a lot, maybe one more. It looks like there's only like two on either side. So you're just doing these rectangular sort of lines and giving them an edge just here. here and then some more details inside here as well like that right and we'll do similar sort of stuff over the other side, okay? So, jaw line comes down here. So it kind of comes around. So we're right next to the edge of my paper here now. So this comes down like so. Up. In. And then we bring it up around to here. And then I think this speaker, we can see it. No, we can see like the outside of another one here. There's like a circle. So we're slightly different on this side now. I think his head, this side of his jaw is like twisted or turned. Cause Kong has absolutely twisted it off. Then we have another line coming down like so. Into here. Another line there. Boom. 
that's kind of comes down this way. Edge lines, curve lines inside. We'll give this an edge line here. More diagonal sort of lines in this side. Bolts always help, these dots and things. Right, so there. All right, so lines across, just breaking it up, adding some bolt-like stuff. Another line going down that way. And then right, so this will come down to his chin, okay? And there's there is some teeth here as well, but it's kind of where would you say here? So we'll add just two of these teeth, I guess, first. Just to make it sort of even on both sides a bit. Now, if you wanted to use a ruler to make sure these were super straight, you could, but I'm not going to. They, they seem to be curved in the picture anyway. All right, and then there's some extra details in here. More details, 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 details. So we keep adding in here. And there's one of those speakery things here. And then pipe line. Comes down into the tooth there. Down. Cross. Another line going that way. Edge lines, bolts. It's never easy drawing Mecha Godzilla. So this comes down across to there. Edge line. Down this way. Trying to make them look a bit 3D. Okay, so we're relatively uh, even on both sides. It's not too bad. Do, 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 do. Okay, so we're getting there. Um, right, so he has um, a chin. Um, and so it like, let's see. So it like comes across. So we're underneath this thing, right? So we'll go across here. Try and keep it sort of centered with this one. Then we'll step down. Step down. Like there. And then it'll go cross. Cross. Then down. Down. Crossing in. Crossing in. Right, and then he has darker metal plates on the bottom. Like this, and then some here. So these are like step down on both sides. Up and in. Do the same thing over here. So you go out, in, step down, 
across. Is that right? Oops, yeah, it went no, there. Just went a bit too far with that line. Let me go up across, up to there. And, and then this has like various lines breaking it up. Inside, bolts, you know. And then we sort of join this up to his jaw, then up here. So you just kind of step up either side. And I join it up like that, and then he'll have some like rectangle box lines going down here. Similar. Like so. Right, so that's the main shape for his head. Right, so we've got like tongue inside right and it's got all these bumpy sort of metal gears and we'll just do we'll do like bump 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 right and then they sort of crisscross one another but what do we do so we'll do we'll do kind of a line down the middle and then a line here and then here and then we'll add sort of these sort of bumping lines that come across And then some along this side as well. And he seems to have um, some coming down the back of his throat as well. So we've got, uh, yeah, like here. So like on top, so these two bumping lines here. And then a line sort of up the middle-ish. And then loads of these curving lines like that. Man, I think my Sharpie is wasting. <laughs> There's a lot of ink in this picture. Right, so, okay. So then, so like all in here is pretty much dark black shadow apart from this sort of circle of light, right? Red light. And there's sort of these just sort of overly lines that go around in a kind of a circle. They're not they're not all the same size, but I'll do them. 
pretty much the same size because it's easier and faster. <laughs> okay, there. Right, so they're red, just in at the back of his throat, okay? Right, so then we got like pipes and stuff coming down here. Now you can just, these are like parts of his neck and you know, the mechanisms that were sort of holding him together. So, you know, it's just lots of these sort of pipes basically, basically coming down here. Right, and I think there might be like one or two here as well. Just sort of hanging down. Another one here. This has an edge line on this one. Maybe this one too. Okay, so that's pretty much Mechagodzilla. Really complicated, I know. Hope it was helpful anyway for anyone who's following along this far. So then we have actual Godzilla's fingers on, are on the side of his head, right? So just here, up and down. Right, and you can have like knuckle lines. Another one here, and some knuckle lines here. And should we see some on the top? I don't know. And um, one, two, three, all right. Maybe another one, another finger back here. Goes up just off my page, but back in here, like wrinkly sort of lines. Fourth, maybe a fourth somewhere. I'll put it here, but we can't really see much of it. Just there. Right, so then Kong's arm is all sort of foreshortened, right? So we can just see like his furry sort of bicep here, right? Forearm and bicep going around there. And then some of his forearm there, another line just coming up around there. And then his shoulder comes in here. And then it'll go in behind. So it's all sort of roundy sort of lines, hairy. This is his shoulder and then his like furry sort of sides here. Yeah, Sharpie's wasting. All right, so. Okay, but we finally made it. I think we made it to the end. <laughs> that is how to draw King Kong versus a Mecha Godzilla. Hella complicated. I hope it was helpful. Will I give Kong his nipple? I think I will. The finishing touch. <laughs> uh, there he is anyway. There they are. Anyway, I'll stop. Long video. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.